tip of my brows are they're making me feel like, feel like a villainess so maybe today i'm 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 evil you never know with me though come to the dark side we have cookies leaves your hair feeling manageable with less weight down well obviously i need that well hello my lovely nestlings and welcome to today's video which is going to be new makeup and lifestyle releases because it's friday and i have some cute things to talk about i have some things that i have opinions on and i'm very curious to hear yours this week because i think it's it can be very very lively in the comment section this week yes and if you are new welcome my name is nikki i'm 46 from the netherlands hence the accent if you want to hear about brands no one else is talking about if you want to learn how to apply makeup on a skin that's no longer as supple and as firm as it was 20 years ago <laughs> If you just want to have fun, then this is the this is the place for you. Honestly, I love to have fun and I love to laugh about myself as well because I'm I'm a hoot. I'm not, but that's neither here nor there. I'm also slightly orcish. That I am, which means light olive. So if you are light olive as well, you are especially one of mine. Everyone is welcome though. Just bring your pots, your pans, so we can make a lot of noise and cook delicious meals. Never mind. Uh, just also a kind of. There's a lot going on here with my eyebrows. I'm trying out a new uh, colored brow soap from Catrice. I kind of like it, but my brows are... They're making me feel like, feel like a villainess. So maybe today I'm, I'm, I'm evil. You never know with me though. Let's just... All my eyes is the Hella palette from Odin's Eye in collaboration with my dear friend Angelica Nikvist. I'm filming a multiple looks video with it and I hope to have it online next week. And this is look number two. I really, I really liked it. Yes, let's just go to the side. Because I have a lot to talk about. Uh, as per usual, I have some. I also have some jewelry uh, today, and I have some lifestyle things, and I have a lot of makeup that I have opinions on. Let's start with this, though. Let's start with charming. Oh yeah, and everything will be listed down below in the description box. Uh, let's start with charming little fox. I mentioned uh, the brand last week because I got uh, tiny bee earrings from them. Uh, through a friend but it, that was the company that she got them from but i also wanted to show off these these are so so cool it's like they are it's like they're dripping with honey right so this is a sample of what she has she has more uh, more stuff there is a sale going on in her etsy shop as i'm filming this so i will link her etsy shop down below but she just has so many fun and uh, you know half moon half moon and stars uh jewelry they're wire wrapped they are they're just stunning let me save these as well so i can show you they're just stunning so yeah uh the pieces that i have from her are very uh very fine but very well made and they they are gorgeous go check her out go check her out and i will leave the site down below the next thing that i have here is if there's bees you guys tag me and you go bonkers so i have this as well this is from safe bees shop uh, this is the, the the baby bee bundle and it's on sale yeah it is on sale now and it's a necklace and it is two tiny earrings um but the shop is they have a lot of cute stuff uh, so i will leave down below where you can find it i will also leave the, uh, the instagram handle from this brand and from the last one but they have very very cute um basically bee inspired so not specifically bee but they also have flowers that bees like to visit um in in their jewelry but they have that they have a bunch of stuff what they are doing is uh, they are have partnered with pollinator uh, or it says by partnering with pollinator partnership and other non-profit organizations they are able to donate a portion of every purchase towards developing bee colonies worldwide so i think that's an amazing cause i will leave down below where you can find it but they have also very very cute stuff so go check them out okay next this picture actually my sister sent this to me this is from copper wild pottery um this is a a mug coffee mug tea whatever whatever alcohol whatever you want to put in there but it's just so so pretty and when i look at this this just makes me happy to look at there are uh, more things because i also saved something else from her which is no which is this she teamed up with a local herbalist uh, reference botanicals and i will leave both instagram handles down below um these are tiny cell uh, cell self self jars ointment self jars yes they will be released she is going to release new things uh this saturday at 7 p.m est the 27th um 
there, it's stunning pottery and i will leave down below where you can find it i will leave the site it's she says uh functional art imbued with magic and looking at this yeah i i agree completely so I will leave down below where you can find it. Go check them out. And the last thing that I have here. This is just so cute. This is from uh, Ingra Mama. These are tiny tonsters. These are little tree guardians. This is just so cute. And these are these are doing mm, like puss in boots. These are just too cute. They're just so, so cute. So yeah, they are mini tonsters. And I... I I'm going to leave the side below because this is just, yeah. She has so many cute things. I really, really like this. So yeah, let me know. Uh, let me know if you know the brand, but I'm going to leave her Instagram handle down below and where you can find the products because they're just too cute not to talk about. Now I'm going to go into makeup and I'm going to start with something that also drops Saturday tomorrow, right? Oh, Saturday's 26. So maybe the things are dropping on Sunday then. Yeah, so uh, the Coppery Wild Pottery, the, 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 the tiny jar, it's the 27th that it will launch, not the 26th. I was mistaken. Okay, let's go next to Lethal because they have uh, shown their Night Flower collection. So you get the Night Flower palette. It has 12 shades, uh, six... No! Six mattes, two classic metallics, one duochrome and three multichromes. Uh, in an all-new budget-friendly formula. They are available pre-assembled, uh, but you can also use them to build your own palette or purchase them as single eyeshadows. The pre-assembled palette retails for 52 euro or 50 bucks. Single eyeshadows range from six to nine. Yes. Then there's also four shades of uh, gel eyeliners, a periwinkle, a mauve, a rich purple, and a deep blue with light blue reflects. Retails 16 euro or 15.50 each. Then there are also three duochrome magnetic highlighters. Atomic is gold and red. Then Halo is green and blue. And Stellar is blue and violet. And they will retail for 20 each. Um, then there's also a display that you can basically put them in the compact helix. That's sold separately for three, uh, three bucks or euro. The euro prices contain the 19% VAT. So that's why they are a little bit more expensive than the dollars. It will release February the 26th, which is tomorrow. Yes. 4 p.m. CET. That's where I am at. Central European time. Uh, and that is also 7 a.m. PT or 10 a.m. ET. Okay. Let's look at the color story. I do like the color story. I, I honestly, I'm kind of hoping that it is more their Berlin uh, formula because I really like their Berlin formula a lot. Um, I, I actually prefer it over their regular formula. Now they say that this is a different formula. So I am very much interested to try this out. Um, the color story looks very, very pretty. I love a purple and then a teal. I love that combination a lot. So this looks very, very pretty. Uh, the gel eyeliners, yeah, that harmony, that looks cute. Which is the periwinkle. I don't know if it will stay periwinkle, but that one looks very, very cute. And the highlighters. I have tried their highlighter formula. Now, I don't know if this is the same formula. I... I did not dislike their highlighter formula, but I felt it a little bit dry. Um, I actually thought I had the shade Atomic. Didn't I? No, I had Atmosphere. Um, the shade Atomic is pretty. That would probably be the one that I would gravitate towards. Um, which is gold and red. Yeah. Yeah, I think I would like that one better. But I'm actually thinking about picking up the, the eyeshadow palette. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know. Because especially because they are saying that it is a new formula. I'm kind of interested to try then against their old formula. And against the one from the Berlin. So, uh, 4 p.m. So that's in the afternoon. I will probably I will probably order this one. I think, yeah. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let's next go to Nabla. Because Nabla has released a new eyeshadow palette as well. It's the Re Read My Mind palette. It is 16 innovative shades laid out to be read in multiple ways. By lines, by quads, or by mixing and matching the shades as you feel fit. It's available now. And if I'm not mistaken, they still have the... I think it's Nabla. No. 
it's not my blood 20 that's on cosmetic for less they have a 20 percent off uh, sale every time they launch a new product so go check out nabla site especially if you're here in europe i don't know if it's beneficial if you are outside of europe but if you want to get this i saw it on cosmetic for less i know that they have it i don't know if it is into i actually don't know is nabla sold in the usa i actually don't know but i will at least leave nabla site i will check and see where i can find the palette so let's look at the palette this palette is exactly how my mind works when I have an eyeshadow palette. The reason that I usually go row by row in a multiple looks videos is because I want to do something different. A lot of the time I go in vertical rows and not horizontal because actually a lot of eyeshadow palettes have their color stories vertical. Some also have them horizontal and then I go vertical. It kind of depends a little bit on how many shades are in there, how many rows there are. But usually I go vertical. Um, the color stories here are kind of laid out horizontally and then in a quad but you can also yes you can go in a quad you can also go like that this is how i use eyeshadow palettes honestly a lot of the time let me grab the one for, that i have here from odin's eye so i am going i'm going like this now right but if you look at how the color story is laid out you can very much go this and be pretty mono, monochromatic about it you know uh, this one is then very shimmer heavy but still it does not really matter but you can also go in quads because if you go here you have a lighter greenier yellow look here you have a little bit of the 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 pinky but a darker purple you know that is that this center quad here is going to be a very very cute look and that is how i see eyeshadow palette so i know that you guys are always intrigued in how i build up my looks well basically like this so what nabla has done is the way that i view my eyeshadow palettes usually i can see this being an everyday palette for a lot of people and yes you can mix and match and i see already i see color combinations forming and you can go yeah row by row quads you can do well you could always do whatever floats your boat but here they basically already curated it for you right so yeah i don't know let me know your thoughts i will link down below where you can find it it's as i said available already okay uh let's next go to as i said every time there's a bee on it you guys go bonkers and i love that uh, this is from lurella cosmetics this is the queen bee palette it is online already yes i also have a picture of the inside yeah the, the outside it's i love this it's it looks very very cute i love bumblebees i love bees and this palette looks very very cute on the outside and the inside it's not it's not surprising you know um because a lot of the time when you have a bee or a honey inspired palette this is the color story that you get i could have they, they could they could have made it even deeper but this is basically the color story that you get so do i hate it no am i going to get it no but i do like it uh, i have this <laughs> multiple times um but yeah i do really like it so i let i'll um uh, link down below where you can find it let me know your thoughts let's go next to saints angel sinners and she's doing heap honest to god a heap so her etsy shop is listed down below i do have a discount code with her and i will leave that down below as well but she is let's see here she's restocking she is darcy the owner is uh, basically bringing the favorites favorite palettes back in stock so the palette that you see here she made for her best friend and her best friend already hit pan on it so she has to restock it and it's angel baby it's an all shimmer palette and that one is going to restock um then i have uh, the zanadu palette it looks very pretty uh, springy but still a little bit crunchy it looks it looks stunning and the link to pre-order is already available then i have a sneak peek of the palette unity that she's going to launch i think for pride month uh, so this is basically the the digital copy when i have uh, pictures of the palette and i will, I will show you the, the uh, shadows are on their way that's what she's saying and then i think that the last thing that i have yeah it, the last thing that i have from her is the 420 collection so we have two palettes best buds and makeup and chill both palettes are duochrome shadows um the official launch is 25th of february which is uh, today and you can get them for 33 us dollars yeah one is a little bit of a lighter 
Um, so best buds looks looks to be a little bit more of a lighter almost spring as I am seeing this springtime shiny shade and then the other one is more it's a little bit more dark it's a little bit more yeah it looks very pretty I I, I just received another PR package from her with uh, some very pretty Palettes. I have Dollface and I have Get Lucky here. So Dollface, let me show them to you. And uh, there was more in the PR package. Though. So Dollface is uh, a neutral, very much a, a neutral palette. So the top two shimmers, the one in the corners, they have kind of sh kind of a flip to them. And then the other one is Get Lucky. This is also an all shimmer palette, but this is an all shimmer, an all shimmer, ooh, an all shimmer palette. And it looks very, very pretty. So those are the two that I have currently new from her. And I love the form. I love her formula. I think she's nailing it with the formula. Um, she also sent me two blushes, two lippies and a makeup bag. But it will all be in my February haul. I will show everything off even more. Uh, yeah, I will link down below her site, her Etsy store and... You can use my code Nikki15 to save some money if you want to. Let's next go to Colourpop. Because when I saw that Colourpop was coming out with the Darth Vader palette, I screamed. I was like, I need it. I saw the inside and I was like, damn. The trouble with this palette is that there are different pictures. There are different depth almost so i have a picture here that's from colourpop's own site and looking at this i'm like i still don't get why there's not a black in there and he, uh, that's that's the comment that i see where's the black if you're doing darth vader where is the black where is the black and i completely agree now apparently i also have swatches so apparently the shade dark side is a black with micro sparkle in it but it doesn't look black in the pan but looking at the swatches that uh, jen uh, from jen phelps beauty did did it's still not completely black but it's better yeah i still think that they should have done at least a black i actually think they should have done a black matte and a black shimmer that's me and i know that there are also people who are saying yeah we have enough blacks yeah but it's darth vader darth vader needs a black come on the red yes i'm glad it's a shimmer but i we also needed a black A true black and a black shimmer. Just saying. That's Darth Vader. However, looking at the outside of the palette, then the color story makes sense. It's still not as... St I'm still missing a black. <laughs> I am. But if I look at the, the, the outside of the palette, it reflects way better with what's inside. And that's the same thing with the Mandalorian. So I have the Mandalorian palette here. When you see the outside, it very much reflects what the color story is. Is this the color story of the Mandalorian? No, not necessarily. So there, there is that, you know. I don't know, the Mandalorian, it's... Honestly though, if you want to do a Mandalorian palette, it's going to be a gray palette, isn't it? Because, yeah, it's, it's a metal, almost a metal suit. So it's not really that inspiring uh, so looking at the outside of the palette in combination with the inside i get it i'm still missing a shimmer black so what i i know i have ordered this palette or at least as i'm filming this your yesterday the palette hasn't dropped yet i'm going to order it because i want it um, but it could very well be that i'm going to modify it to make my own darth vader palette by combining this palette with the uh, blown smokes of the smoke shell blown smoke what's the thing called Smoke show. Uh, there are only a few shades that I use from that palette anyway. So maybe I will do that and create my own Darth Vader palette. But I need it. What can I say? I'm a... S okay, so the white white shade. Oh yeah, that's a super shock. It's called Stormtrooper. Yeah, I get that. I get it. But it's not a specifically a Star Wars palette, is it? Is it a Darth Vader palette? But okay. I am... Um, yeah, I ordered it. What can I say? Yes, I know. <laughs> Come to the dark side, we have cookies. It's it's the brows. Never mind. Uh, let's go let's go next to Hindesh. Uh, 
they uh, I knew that there was more to the collection that he was dropping this is another part of the collection that's dropping it's called boy tears color fluid uh, it's ultra shimmer universal multi pearl champagne multi-use liquid shimmer it's vegan transforms all your matte looks with this top coat from subtle sparkle to a high shine a little goes a long way okay so it's basically a liquid eyeshadow topper then that you can also use as a highlighter which you can actually do with any liquid highlighter or powder highlighter uh, i think that the product looks pretty it's one color right um yeah let me know your thoughts i'm still very much eyeing his eyeshadow palette so uh, then I have a sneak peek from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. This is a sneak peek of the two moods coming in early March. It's going to be 16 uh, eyeshadows or 16 pan palette. Um, price and exact date will be released on full reveal day. Roses, uh, two moods. So, I don't know. A light and airy and a grungier moody. I don't know, but I'm actually very uh, interested to see how they are going to do this. When I know more, I will let you know. Uh, I'm interested to see it. Okay. What is, what's this? What is this? Oh, yeah. Uh, this actually should have been in the beginning, but that's okay. This is. Uh, you, uh, I need to say it. The, Juliana Maslova. I don't know how to say this in... How I would say it in Dutch is Juliana Maslova. That's how I would say it. But I, I so I'm going to say it the Dutch way. Juliana Maslova. Okay. Uh, that's, that's the artist's name. These are embroidered insects. And I think they're also brooches. But they're just... Oh, and rings. It's... Im only thing that I can say is, wow. It's embroidery designer. Um, it's just stunning. <laughs> Stunning what she's making. She's based in Russia. And it's... Honestly, it's stunning. I'm going to leave her... I don't know where you can uh, order stuff, actually. Can you even order? She's working on a new collection. So, I think... I think so. Yeah, I think she... Yeah, from my understanding, she's working on a new collection. But it's just stunning. Honestly, it's stunning. I have no idea. I have no idea where you can get this. Maybe she will uh, make the collection and just um, post the link when she has the collection done. I don't know, but I will leave the Instagram handle down below. It's so so cool, so cool. Okay, um, what else do I have? Let's see. Oh yeah, Kiko Milano. They have dropped their spring collection. Uh, it's called Blossoming Beauty. Um, it's online already. I think I already saw it as well. It's an eyeshadow. Yeah, it's a whole. It's a whole collection. What you see here, you see an eyeshadow palette. You see a face quad. You see. I think a blush and then a finishing powder. The white one should be the finishing powder. That one is amazing. I still have a finishing powder from two years ago, which is still not done. Uh, I love it to set underneath my eyes with, for instance. If you have a foundation that's a little bit more mattifying and you want to bring a little bit more life back in your face, that finishing powder, it's stunning, honestly. Uh, this just looks gorgeous. They do these types of collections very, very well. Their, their usual lineup is a little bit meh. Um, but the collections that did, they, the packaging... Yeah, you know, the packaging is just, it's stunning. What can I say? I really do like Kiko Milano's uh, complexion products. I like their blushes. I like their, well, the setting powder, the finishing powder. I have not tried their eyeshadows. Um, I can, if you really want me to, let me know. Yeah, let me know your thoughts. I don't have anything from the collection. Um... I was not really planning on picking anything up uh, either unless I get an overwhelming response more than four people telling me that I need to review the collection. Then, then I can make that happen. Let's go to The Ordinary because they have launched hair, new hair care products. Um, you get a sulfate 4% cleaner for body and hair. It has seven. Uh, then there's a conditioner. Behentrimonium chloride. 
leaves your hair feeling manageable with less weigh down well obviously i need that and then there's also an ordinary natural moisturizing factors plus ha for scalp support hydration through scalp skin barrier protection i wish they would have taken out the hyaluronic acid i am not a fan of hyaluronic acid at all uh, but yeah, uh, it's available now at TheOrdinary.com, Sephora and Alta in the USA and Canada. And it's on route to everywhere else March the 8th. Now, I did see it on their site, but I think it's just sold out. So yeah, let me know if you have tried it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Am I interested? Not necessarily. But that's, that's, that's kind of not necessarily. But maybe you are very much interested let me know down below okay let's go next to sugar drizzle polish polish because this is a picture of their dragonfly warrior palette in nine shades mattes and shimmers it's available on the 26th which is then tomorrow and it looks stunning you can use code radar 10 at checkout to save 10 percent this is very very pretty yeah, and it truly reminds me of a dragonfly. And um, we don't necessarily have blue ones here. Well, we have all kinds. We have blue ones, we have green ones, we have brown ones. And this looks very pretty. What can I say? I have not tried sugar drizzle polish. Would I like this? Yes, very much so. I'm not really in the market to try a new brand. But this is one that is definitely on my wish list yes let me know your thoughts down below okay let's next go to i think i have two things left let's go to saucebox cosmetics now, i never talk about saucebox i don't even know if they're cruelty free honestly i actually don't know oh it says vegan and cruelty free so i i am guessing I'm guessing they are. If they're not, please let me know in the comment section. But according to their Instagram, they are. This is a full reveal and swatches of the Taro uh, Major Arcana Palette Collection. Eight shades. Uh, the Lovers has seven mattes and one topper. The Moon has three toppers. One sparkle and four mattes. The Magician has four mattes and four shimmers. They retail for 25 bucks each. Yeah, these are cool. Color Story of the Magician. I like the kitty cat on the front. I like it. It's, I like the color story as well. Is it? Does it give ma magician vibes to me? Maybe not necessarily, but it also depends on the tarot deck that you have, right? I don't know the tarot deck that they use. I don't even know if it is a true existing tarot deck. But I do think it's very, very fun. Okay. Um, then the lovers. Mm. Okay. So I, yeah, I, I kind of see where they get their inspiration from. From their sugar, the, those sugary heart thingies. I don't know what they're called. And then the moon is yeah 90s inspired i quite like these i have no idea where i could get my hands on these but i quite like these and i know here no one talk about sauce box so yeah i don't know let me know your thoughts have you tried sauce box because i know of them but that's that's kind of it then the last thing that i'm going to mention is uh, the new collection from juvia's place which is the culture collection it's an extension of their limited edition Valhalla series to celebrate the vibrancy of african culture you get an eyeshadow palette 30 30 shades uh, 39 bucks four liquid duo chromatic eyeshadows 15 each and then the bundle is 96 it's available now maybe it's a very unpopular opinion but i feel that ever since they launched at alta the brand is it what it was when i when i got to know them um i don't know i like the nine pen palettes and i like their what was it there 15 or 16 pen palettes i like those as well the old school ones i like their nine pen palettes i like their six pen palettes why do we need this big why i also the artwork i don't know i feel like when i see this i don't think of juvia's place and brands uh, brands should evolve yeah but if you have a certain aesthetic that people know you for i think that the color story is pretty but too big that's what she said i i don't know i think i think it's a shame for me for me personally they lost me they and, and not as a customer per se but they just they just lost me a little bit because i'm like this this looks like any other brand 
yes it's more vibrant but that's basically it it looks like any other brand and it's it for me it's not juvia's place anymore and maybe i am i don't know maybe i'm nagging or whatever but i don't know i feel like yeah ever since they basically launched at alta that they kind of they went from an indie brand to mainstream and i get it uh, and i wish them all the success i hope they they will be huge but and also i'm kind of curious when they're going to launch their uk site which they have been saying that they're going to do for i think two years now or something like that but um yeah, I don't know, they, they kind of lost me a little bit. And I think that's a shame because I really do like Juvia's Place. Uh, I think their, their lineup is brilliant. I think that especially because they branched out in other things, that's one of the reasons that they're so successful now, or at least I feel they're successful. But I also feel that they're losing the aesthetic that they had. And I think that that's a shame. But that may be, that's maybe me. I don't know how this quality is. It's probably good quality. Uh, if I had this palette, I would have a lot of fun with it. I'm very much... I'm very sure of it, but it's not. I wish that they would have done a collection uh, to nine pen palettes and to six pen palettes and then in unique colors. You know, you can. Yes, because if you look at the top, you make two nine pen, two six pen palettes out of those and then two nine pen palettes of the bottom, you know, squares. It, it's very interesting color stories again and i feel that they are losing that a little bit but yeah that's maybe me let me know your thoughts down below have you gotten this collection um are you over the moon are you angry because i don't like it as much let me know down below and then that is it for today i'm still here at the site because this is also my weekly shout out for my members that you see scrolling on the screen right now if you want to become a member there is a link to join in the description box and the members video that i'm going to film next is about brushes I'm going to go very in-depth in why I use the brushes that I that I use, how I use them, and my thought process picking the brushes for each eye look. Um, I also know that a lot of you who are not members want to know this as well. I am going to mention it a little bit more in my videos, but I'm not going to go as in-depth in a video for everyone as I'm going to be in the members. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. I am going to wish you a fantastic day, a fabulous evening. May your foundation always match your neck. And I will see you um, Monday for another video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.